Wake Forest hasn't had a kick return touchdown since 2007. They won't have that chance here. It'll start with a penalty marker and good field position coming up. Wide read action between the quarterback and the running back. You see it on display as Carney runs it to the sticks at the 45-yard line. Prepare for in practice. There's Carney with a big hole. Three plays, three good runs. He takes this one for 13 and another first down to the 42. Newman off the fake. Launching for Kendall Hinton. Touchdown, Wake Forest. What a drive to open the day. He's certainly doing that. He's uh, shared his experience with other people who've had similar experiences. And what a kid. Jalen Naylor. Good grab and good run. This receiver, so having that explosiveness out there today is going to be huge. Go with a little jet sweep to Anthony Williams, another running back, a true freshman from Chicago. Back to the ground. Nice shiftiness by Anthony Williams and some of the speed on display as he takes it for nine yards to the 40. Young player. A fake to him in the pistol. A little RPO and a completion to Cody White for the first down. Back to Collins, good hole opened up by this offensive line. And Elijah Collins powers his way inside the 10. First down and goal, Michigan State. No, three points is in the bag already. Lewerke being chased, tough throw, incomplete. You had Ja'Cory Johns and Boogie Basham both in the area. No extra point or even a punt, can't have a turnover. So Matt Coglin, who has missed nine field goals this year, part of that is because they've had to kick so many. That was these guys. Totally different. They're, they're, they're a different athlete. They're, uh, as you see there, but the baseball players are good size themselves, but these guys are just... How about Mike Panashuk with a pick six for Michigan State? And his final one, what a play. Adam, we talked about it all year. Tips and overthrows, got to get those. That's exactly what happened here. I think it was his little brother, Jacob, who actually tips it. And then big brother off the back of another teammate. I think it was Harvey. Tips and overthrows, got to get how they're going to react. And then you get over the first time you get on the bench and you make those adjustments and you go to your next set of plays. Look at that time for Stephen Claude in double coverage. His rush ability is special. There he is, trying to work inside. The work, he got rid of it quickly. I think it was incomplete, and it was. Max have been guilty of that this year as well. Wow, this is a good punt. Great punt. Pat McAfee would be proud. Kendall Hinton from the 28-yard line. With a big hole and a good return, and he slips free, and the punter, Jake Hartbarger, is able to save a touchdown on a 36-yard return by Hinton. Here's Newman. They love the design runs with J.B. Newman. And that's a touchdown saving tackle by Shakur Brown. See what they can do with it. 54% touchdown rate. Newman trying to throw to one on one. Donovan Green reaching out. What a catch. Touchdown Wake Forest. A stumbling and still catching it. It's really not bad coverage anywhere. This is just a nice job of giving the receiver an opportunity for a back shoulder throw. Adam, you've heard me say it a hundred times. Stepped up nicely. Lewerke airing it out. Trenton Gillison makes the grab. There goes the red shirt freshman still on his feet. First down and goal, Michigan State. The biggest grab of Gillison's career. Huge play. And now Lewerke will die for the goal line. He's in. Touchdown, Michigan State. dummy signalers and they get these plays in so quickly. I'm sure Yankee fans aren't uh, worried about signaling or anything like that in various playoff series. There's a run for Jamie Newman out across the 30. Sidelines hearing the play and then signaling it in to the quarterback. Boy, Jamie Newman, how did he get out of the pack? What an elusive run by Newman into Michigan State territory. Picks up 19 yards. He looked Newman off the back foot, he's got Jack Brunenthal. And the captain and senior takes it home for a touchdown. 
I don't think a lot of Power 5 student athletes get. He does a great job developing them as young men as well. Jalen Naylor on the sweep. Williams College. Who else went to Williams College that might know a little something about this stadium? Cody White makes the grab. Good gain for a first down. I on second down, Lewerke. Close to the sticks, it's grabbed by Trey Mosley, the true freshman. He's got the ball at the 32 for a first down. Lewerke, past the sticks. He's got Jalen Naylor for a first down inside the 20. Lewerke, pumps, and down he goes. It's Boogie Basham in the backfield. I'm out, they've got all three to work with. It's a 44-yard attempt for Coglin, and he is able to deliver. Good players have come through this program. He also mentioned he was a Mariners fan and uh, <laughs> didn't really care too much about playing at Yankee Stadium. Yeah, absolutely. Good connection to Trenton Gillison, who's had two big grabs today. Little option play, trying to drive the legs forward. The ball came out loose, but the line judge from the near side says he was down and seemingly past the sticks, and that's the case. It's a first down. Muller, 10th year on staff at Michigan State. Elijah Collins slips free. Out running Henderson. Pushed out of bounds. Big gainer for the redshirt freshman from Detroit. 31 yards. Play big. Dumps it off. Cody White. Trying to hit the pylon, he's in! Touchdown Spartans and they jump back out in front. The fifth lead change of the pinstripe ball. Their rhythm. The goal is about 90 a game. They average 82 plays per game. Low throw, incomplete, trying to find Roberson. That was the 49th play of the game for Wake Forest. Out of the empty set on third down. Lewerke intercepted off the hands of Collins. It's intercepted for Wake Forest by Smenda. He lost the ball and Bassey was there to recover it. It's Wake Forest football. Season, you know, the story of their season, missed opportunity to play before and then tips and overthrows. Got to get those. Them. That was Schmenda on the interception. Inside the 40 of Michigan State. Newman, he's got one on one. Receiver with separation in green, but it's incomplete. Josiah Scott had the coverage down the field. Well, conference. Lewerke fakes the jet sweep. Little shovel to Gillison, who's been very impactful today. But that ball may have come out loose, and sure enough, it did. Jaquez Williams coming up with a huge play for Wake Forest in a six point game. I, we mentioned that. Gillison was not 100% healthy. He's trying to suck it up for his team, be tough. And Late in the year, third down and eight. Newman stepping up, wrapped up by Willikis. The forward progress to the 38-yard line, and it's fourth down. First and 15. Off the play action. Lewerke gets rid of it. He's got a man, and it's Trey Mosley out across the 20 for a first down. Not easy to come by third and long. Lewerke, back shoulder, White with a twist and catch out across the 40. These programs have guys that were multi-sport yeah. athletes in high school. Oh, dangerous pass, but Mosley comes down with it. Amari Henderson was there to maybe make a play. Another great athlete like we're talking about, Trey Mosley, has come on huge the last two games. Lewerke keeps. Nice move to get around Rucker, and he runs it for a first down inside the 20-yard line. Two drives, just make it a two-score game. It's Collins on the run, wrapped up shy of the sticks at the 10 by Schmenda. Could this seal it? On the way, it is no good. Another three-man rush. Hartman spinning away from Willikis, still on his feet. They need the 30-yard line. Hardman stops, fires, incomplete. Turnover on downs, it's Michigan State ball. Not bad for a kid from Tacoma <laughs> who moved to Arizona, who met Kirk Cousins on his recruiting trip to Michigan State and said, yeah, why not? I, I see what you're talking about. I'll, I'll take a turn up here at Michigan State, see what East Lansing's all about.
Nice way to go out for him and the rest of the senior class. Great season for Wake Forest, which will finish at 8-5. Could this be one of those jump-starting wins for the veteran Mark D'Antonio at the helm of this Michigan State program?